Welcome to University of Limpopo Library. Today we are going to show you how to access our library catalog. For you to be able to access the library catalog, you need to have internet connection. And from your laptop or from your desktop, you're going to select the desired browser. Afterwards, you're going to type in www.ul.ac.za and you press enter for you to be able to access the University of Limpopo website. On the website, if you scroll down, you're going to see a menu saying looking for this, and then you're going to click on libraries. When you click on libraries, it will take you to the library webpage. On the library webpage, you have a menu where you look for library catalog. You click on library catalog, and it will open a new window. So there you will be accessing the library catalog. For you to be able to search the library catalog, you're going to use the following access keys. The keyword, the title, the author, and the subject. You also have your search box where you're going to search to type in your search. If you're using keyword as your access point, then you're going to type in your keyword. If you're going to use title as your access point, then you're going to type in your title. So I'm going to conduct a search using keyword because keyword is on default. So I'm going to search for something on psychology. I type in psychology and then remember to always limit your search to the library that is nearer to you. I'm at the Tefliop campus library and then I'm going to limit my search to Tefliop and then I submit my search. So here are my results displayed. I have 4,806 entries. And as you can see, the first one, you'll have the title, then you'll have the author and the publication detail underneath. Underneath all that information, you'll have your location, your call number, and your status. With the location, it tells you where the item is located in the library. The possible locations that you can have is Tefliop Africana Reserve, Tefliop Law Reserve, Tefliop Main Reserve. You also have Tefliop Audiovisual and you have Tefliop Main Open Stack and Tefliop Management Open Stack. And coming to the call number, our call numbers sometimes are comprised of the prefix, and then you have the number and you have the suffix. The possible prefixes that we have is T, which is for thesis. You have AV for audiovisual. You have R for reference. You have G for government documents. And then you have A for Africana. And you'll have the number and then the suffix can be the first three letters of the author or it can be the first three letters of the title if that particular item is edited. And then we come to the status. The possible statuses that you can have is available, which means the item is in the library and has not been borrowed out. If it says due and gives you a date, it means that particular item has been borrowed out and it will be back in the library on that particular date. And if it says, ask for assistance, it means the particular item has been ordered and it's still going through some processes in the library. If it's invoiced, it means someone borrowed the item out, they lost it, and they are going to pay for it so that it can be replaced. If it's binary, it means the item has been damaged and it has gone for binding or for mending. If it says on hold, it means that item is in demand and has been borrowed out and someone has asked to put it on hold so that when it is returned in the library, that particular client can be notified and come to borrow it. Okay, so I'm going to go back to show you how to conduct 
a search using other access point. I click on start over and then I click on title. I'm going to use the same uh, search term which is psychology because I'm now looking for a book titled psychology. My search is still limited to Teflop and then I click submit. Here I have 477 entries but I have 365 titles, meaning that some of these titles have multiple copies. So I'm going to click on the first title. And here, as you can see, the results are still displayed the same way. You have your title, you have the author underneath, you have the publication details, and underneath that you have your location which now tells me that it's Teflop main open stack. I have my call number 150 WEI, which is for Witten, the author, first three letters of the author's surname, and I have my status, which says it's available. The second item, it's psychology, and then I have the publication detail, and I have the location, Teflop management open stack meaning it's a different location. I have my call number, which is 150 PSY. As you can see underneath this title, there's no author, meaning this particular item is edited. And as you can also see on the call number, PSY is for psychology. And coming to the status, it says it's due on this particular date, meaning this item has been borrowed out and it will be back in the library on this particular date. So I'm going to go back and conduct a search using subject as my access point. Click on start over and I click on subject and then I'm going to use psychology again because I'm looking for items on psychology as my subject. My search is still limited to Teflop. I click on submit. Now you can see that the entries are more. I have 1,245 entries. I have 140 uh, subject titles. And as you can see, uh, I have psychology. I have psychology 101, which is a previous question paper. I also have psychology 101 for notes and abstracting and indexing so it's different materials here even the encyclopedias so i'm going to click on the first entry and as you can see with this entry the results are still displayed the same way you have the title the author publication detail i have my location call number and the status so lastly, I'm going to conduct a search using the author as the access point. I click on start over and then I select author. For you to conduct an author search, you have to always use the surname as your entry. So I'm going to look for something that was written by Kowalski, R. After that, my, my search is still limited to Teflop, and I click on Submit. As you can see from my search, that I have three Kowalski are Reynard, Robert, and Robin. So I'm looking for Robin Kowalski because he has something on psychology. So I'm going to click on the author, and now I have my results displayed here. Uh, we have Kowalski Robin as our author. The title is Psychology. Then we have publication details. And underneath that, you have your location, which is Teflop Main Open Stack. Our call number, 150KOW for Kowalski. And then we have our status, which it says is available. So it means I can take the call number down and then go to the shelf to take the book so that I can borrow it out since it's in the library. And the last thing that I need to show you is other services that you can access 
on the library catalog you have on your extreme right you have my library record renew library materials and you can also request for items that you don't have in the library using the interlibrary loan request you can also view newly acquired titles or resources in the library through new title list and also you can ask any questions to our librarians through ask a librarian link and lastly you can view the search tips which will help you on how to conduct a search either on the library catalog or on the subject databases that we are subscribed to thank you